Otter Banks community is fed up more than a year after remnants of an old naval base closed part of their beach. The base was thought to be removed back in the 1980s. But decades of erosion show parts of the structure are still there and county leaders say it's leaking petroleum into the ocean. 10 on your side's Nick Broadway joins us in studio with details on why the closure expanded yet again. Nick? Yeah, but a long standing issue there for some time. As I've been reporting for months, there's been a lot of finger pointing as to who's responsible for cleaning this up. Big slabs of concrete, metalwork, rebar and piping are all sticking out of the sand on this nationally recognized beach. A lot of people go here based on decades of paperwork. Cleaning it up falls under the Army Corps, but representatives of the Corps say they're only authorized to remove the parts that are impacted by petroleum. Now they took samples back in May to verify where the petroleum is before they can actually go in and remove it earlier this week. Now about four months later, the Corps told Dare County commissioners they are still waiting on the results. At the same time, strong winds blew a ton of sand off the site, exposing even more of this structure, and neighbors say it unleashed a fearsome stench of petroleum, making some of them feel physically sick. County commissioners and neighbors were sure to make their voices heard during the Corps' visit this week, and this includes the recently formed Buxton Civic Association. Heather Jeanette says they, along with county leaders, are now in talks with federal officials, including some U.S. senators. Jeanette worries the ocean might be moving faster than the Army Corps' process. Many have asked what's stopping someone from just bringing their own equipment and taking this out themselves. Well, since petroleum is still there, hastily removing this could be dangerous. When you pull up that structure, there's a good chance that you are going to be releasing some contaminants. So that's why the guy with the bobcat can't go out onto Park Service property and just pull it up because Park Service is afraid but it, with legitimate concerns of what that's going to do. The Corps did say their recent geophysical survey shows the petroleum pipes are not linked to any leftover storage tanks. They're still working with Buxton to form an advisory board that will focus on remediating this site. Nick Broadway, 10 on your side.